it's good to come uh, into the presence of the Lord Amen. this morning. Amen. And as we come into the presence of the Lord, you know, we look to him as the author and the finisher of our faith. faith. Yes. Let's go to the throne. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just praise you. Thank you. We God. thank you, God, that you love us and that you speak to our hearts. Be glorified in all that is said and done in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to talk to you. You know, right now there are all kinds of things going on in our in our country and, yes. and uh, turmoil going on. And as I was just meditating on, on, on God's word, you know, God began to speak to me and he began to help me to, uh, he began to help me recognize um, this is a heart problem. Yes, it is. Not only is it a heart problem, because it's not a skin problem, it's a sin problem. You know what I mean? Because if our heart is right, then 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 we won't let the sin rule what's happening with the skin. Amen. But listen to this. In um, Psalms 127, on. it says, Unless the Lord build the house, they labor in vain who build it. Unless the Lord guard the city, the watchman watcheth, the watchman stayeth awake in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early and to sit up late. It is, uh, and so I really want you to just, I want to pause right there because this is the revelation. We need, if you will, um, to keep ourselves focused on the Lord. Amen. Because because it says, unless the Lord. And so this is, the, this is what God really began to stir my heart with and dropped in my spirit. See, the problem, if you will, or where division really began, you know, you know, if we face it, trace it, and erase it, if we really look at, 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 at division, it came about because of bad heart, bad Amen. intention. Why do I say that? Because in Genesis um, 11 and 4, it says, and, and I'm going to read it to you from the Message Bible, it says, Then they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city, a tower, that reaches heaven. Um, you know, they said, let us build ourselves. In other words, in other words, you know, prior to that, everything they did was to glorify God. And now the, the emphasis was to shift. Come on. We need to build ourselves. It's like a self-made man or woman. Guess what? They worship their creator. That's right. I said a self-made man or woman, they worship their creator. And who is it? It's the one that made them. But a man and woman of God that recognize that the Lord is our creator, that the Lord is the one yes. that we should worship. We come differently, if you will. And so what happened at the Tower of Babel or Babel was is that is that they not only touched hearts, they touched hearts first, and then they touched hands Amen. and as they touched hands they began to do some things and they, they even had some progress they even had some movement if you will but it was a movement not in the way that God would have and so today there are people out there that have allowed their hearts to be touched or linked together right come on Look at all of this issue on all of these different sides. There are people who've allowed their hearts to be linked together. And so therefore, then they have touched their hands to accomplish a thing. Well, when a thing that they're trying to accomplish is, 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 is when they try to do it in their own way, when they try to build their own city, they're taking... Um, in their touching of their hands, they're causing hurt, pain, frustration, disillusion, Come if on. you will. Right? God is trying to get us to touch our hearts with his. Yes. Let him touch our heart. And when God touches our heart, we, we need to understand that it is God's intent that we be united. Amen. So much so that he's given us gifts. Well, you know, when we allow God to touch our hearts... We may, you don't even have to touch hands because if you get God on the inside and you allow him to move on your heart, 
He moves on your mind and moves on your spirit. And then you begin to do things right. You begin to say things right. You begin to act right. You begin to do uh, what's right instead of worrying about who's right. And so when we allow God to touch our hearts, we just, and that's what it is. We got to allow God to touch our hearts and move through this thing. In it all, it has to come back to God because everything rests on him. And so, and so we need to recognize that God has given us gifts. Yes. He's given the church gifts and the gifts are the fivefold oh. ministry, right? I know that there are some that want to, you know, push that aside or they don't even want to turn the light on that. But God gave us those gifts yes, to do did. what? To bring the church, to bring us, and if you will, to a, to a place of what? Maturity. That's right. Edification. And then not only to a place of maturity, but unity in the faith. Yes. God wants to bring us to a place of unity. Amen. And and it's through the men and women of God um, that God wants to utilize. We need to move under the hand of God. We need to fast and pray. We need to seek the face of the yes, Lord. But do. then we need to touch hands. And you say, Pastor, this is a time of social distancing. Hey, you know, you, you don't have to physically touch hands. Come Touching on. hands means that we are in agreement. Right. Because oftentimes in the past, when people um, had a deal, they said your word was your bond. bond. And oftentimes a lot of what they would do, they would seal it with a handshake. handshake. Right. So I want you to understand that we need to let God touch our hearts and we need to let our hearts be together on one accord. And as we uh, do that, then we can touch our hands in, a, in agreement. And God is so into that because God says, if we touch and agree on anything, right? Amen. So we need to touch and agree, touch and agree with him, touch and agree, you know, with one another. And we can make an impact in Amen. this world. We can make an impact in this life, Amen. but let's not do it for us, but let's do it for him. That's right. It's not about self, but it's all about him. And so we will see you tomorrow at 7. Or 7. Have a blessed day.